Welcome to part two of the Boss Shredder. Hey! Right. Here we go. Big piece. Start cranking straight up. Ooh, lift it up. And get in there. Get in there, laddie. Get on in there. Go straight down the shredder. Yeah, you get in the shredder, laddie. Get in there. Still one of the best companies ever. Still and Bo Bosch are the two best companies ever, I think. Now, so many people may be fans of Husqvarna, but I do not like Husqvarna. Husqvarna are bad. Roasted! Oh, Alright, we're gonna wave this off. Try and dry it off the tank. And bam! Through the shredder it goes. Right. So then, we got this piece. Now, that I would say, apart from the fact that it's obviously barber chair. I would say that, that that's a good, alright, I got a good, yeah, that, that's a good two inches, I reckon, right, and it just eats it, right, it just eats it alive. Got a leap on my phone. <laughs> Go. Go down the shredder. Go. I think it's gonna rain because that's where the weather comes from, so gonna do this quick. Yeah. Now that see this kind of stuff. Doesn't shred very well. No, get out of here, you stupid thing. Right. However, this kind of stuff shreds well. Like that, right? I reckon that's about an inch, if not an inch and a half. Right. So it's hard to do this with one hand. Yeah, guys, never use a shredder with one hand. Never. I'm only doing it for the purpose of entertainment. Never, 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 never. Right, this is a pretty big thing, right? Ugh, I got a slug on my phone. Get to the get to the shledder. You silly thing. Go. <laughs> it appears to be a tad blocked. Oh no. Shred, shred my minions, shred. Where? Right, so. Oh yes, this box looks very full. Look, look, right. That is a big piece. Uh, where's a good example of a little piece? So that is pretty cute. Oh yeah, so you see, the turbine cut system often gets really clogged up with stuff, so that's currently what I'm doing, pulling out all the stuff that's clogged up in there. Ooh. Wow, 
it really was clocks. <laughs> Severe clockage. <laughs> right, so you see, often you can just push it down a bit and it will, and then there's still loads more room. It does do stuff like that though, if you've got bark, that will happen. Just be warned. Right, so turn it on. Bam. Down it should all go. Bam. Right, and then we get to the next piece. Which shall be this piece. It's probably a good half an inch. Plop. Right, so, we got this bad boy, it's a bit weird, these shapes just here, bam, in it goes, and it will go down there with no issues whatsoever, right, absolutely no issues, gone, boom, see you later. Whew. There's some wet stuff in here. Right, so then now we got this stuff and bam. Thickish at the base, not very big. See you later. That'll go down easy. Uh, right, no, I don't think I've shown that. Oh, this piece looks dry. So, you can go. And then this piece as well. Not very big. A bit of dead cauliflower from the hedge. Bam. Is right, so this piece, bam. Right, so after this piece, I think I'm gonna empty it, it's gonna need emptying. Uh, and it doesn't really look like I've got much left that's dry, so yeah, wait, hang on. That and that are dry, so we'll shred these two as well. Bam, and bam. There they both are, and then there they both go. See, look, that's what, how you know it's wrong. Right, I'll see you guys in the next bit when, in part three, when I spread the chippings.